I'm gonna show you everything you need to set up an Apple Watch Series 8, and I'll show you everything from unboxing all the way to the complete setup. And if you have an old Apple Watch, I'll also show you how to reset that in the next video. So this video is gonna focus on the Apple Watch 8 and the complete setup process. So let me go ahead and unbox this watch here. Now they usually come with two separate cases. One case is gonna be the watch itself. So this is the case I have here. And you also have your band here in another case. And I'll go ahead and set the band aside here. The actual watch is in here, so I'll go ahead and unbox this part. And this comes with a little bit of instructions here, so you could look through that if you like. And you're going to have two other pieces here. This is going to be the charger. So this part is going to be magnetically attached to the back of the watch. I'll show you that in a second. Let me go ahead and open this up. And on the other side of it, you have a USB-C connector, but you won't get the cube. They no longer send that with the iPhone or the watch. Let me show you what I use for the cube part to plug into the wall, for example. I use this brand called Anchor. I'll show you what it looks like here. Let me move this piece. Now this is actually one of the fastest chargers I've ever seen. I use this for my iPhone as well, and my iPad and my Apple Watch. So they all connect here and it has old style USB 3 as well and two USB-C ports. And this one I will link in the description below. I got this one from Amazon. And then you have the actual Apple Watch here. It's over here, it's just in this cover. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it out over here. And I'll bring it closer to the camera so you could take a look. Now, if you have the Apple Watch 7, this actually looks pretty identical to that. I'm wearing an Apple Watch 4 and it's not even that far away as far as the design goes. The functionality has improved quite a bit though if you have an older Apple Watch. Okay, let me bring my iPhone here and walk you through the setup process. You do need an iPhone, but you can use the Apple Watch without a phone but you do need an iPhone to set it up. So you could set this up for someone else, for example, that doesn't have an iPhone and then set it up as a family member and hand it to them. I'll show you that setting right now. So the very first step for the Apple Watch setup is pressing and holding the side button here till you see the Apple logo. So I'll do that. And as soon as the Apple logo appears, I'm gonna let go and it's gonna boot up over here for the first time. That's the very first step. Now the second step is, it's going to ask you to bring your iPhone near your Apple Watch. So if you bring it in, you should get a pop-up that looks like this. If you don't get this pop-up, either restart your iPhone or your watch, and then it should appear the next time you do this. I'm gonna press continue on this page. And then it's going to ask you here to set this up for yourself, or you could also set this up for a family member. For example, if you bought someone that's on your Apple ID, a watch here, you could set this up for them. Or in this case, I'm gonna set this up for myself. And then it should give you this thing here on your Apple watch that you gotta scan with your phone. So you gotta put that right in here. So I'm gonna pick up my phone. I'm gonna just frame this in like this and then just hold it for a second, and then it's going to pair your Apple Watch just like that, and then it's gonna give you two options. Restore from a backup. This is if you have an older watch, you could actually restore everything to your new watch, or you could set this up as a brand new watch if you don't have one or if you don't wanna take the backup. I'm gonna take the backup from the watch I'm actually wearing right now, and it's right over here, so I'm gonna select. This is gonna require an update, that's okay. I'm gonna press continue. Now this is what you should see on both of your screens. It's going to activate the watch. It's going to do an update in some cases. The update is not required in all cases though. So if you don't see a software update, that's okay. You could just get to the next step. Step four is going to ask you to set up a passcode for your Apple Watch. I recommend you set this up here, but you can skip this if you don't want a passcode. I'm gonna set one up. Use the keypad on your Apple Watch to set that up. Next, you could choose the font size here and make it much bolder. You could see how it changes and it shows you a preview here. I'm gonna leave it right in the middle here and this will change it to bold if you wanna do that as well. I'm gonna press continue. You could put your personalized information here or if you have an older watch, it's gonna pull it from there. I'm gonna leave this on here and press okay. I'm gonna put no medication, okay. And press okay on the safety tip here. I'll set up Apple Pay later on my Apple Watch. And Apple Watch also has always on display. That means it never actually turns to black like some of the older watches used to. That's okay. And you could decide if your app view is in list order like you see here or in grid view 
like you see here. I like the list view here. It's easier to find them in alphabetical order. I'm going to press OK. And now they're going to sync up between the two different devices. I put mine on charger here because it was a bit low on charge. But typically you don't have to put it on charge unless you have to do a software update like I had to do. You may get a pop-up that a new device has been added to your account. Just press OK there. And while the Apple Watch is syncing, I'll go ahead and unbox this band here. It comes in two pieces, really easy to install. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. And it's going to show you exactly how to insert it into your Apple Watch and how to tie it together here on your wrist. And it's just these two pieces here. You can go ahead and snap these out. I'll take this piece out right here. And there we go. I'll show you here at the end how this gets inserted into the watch. I'll set it aside. And everything is set up right here. Welcome to your Apple Watch. I'm going to press OK. And then this is going to basically walk you through some of the settings that you have available. Like you could change your watch face here. You could actually change your app view that I showed you how to set up. And a lot of other options are inside of this watch app here. And if you go to all watches, you could see any previous watch you have set up as well. If you have a second one you're trying to get rid of, watch my video that I'll link below right after this one. It will show you how to remove this watch and how to completely reset it to factory default so you could sell it or you could give it to someone else. And all the different apps I have on this watch are now on this watch. It's identical and it's backed up everything as I wanted it to. And setting up the band is really simple. It just slides up like this on top. You'll just slide it in and you'll hear a little click here and you do the same thing to the bottom of the watch. You just insert this one. Again, it has a little groove here and it will click right on just like that. And you could put it on your wrist. Check out the two links below. I have two other videos. One again to reset your previous watch to get rid of it if you want to gift it or sell it. And the other one is a complete walkthrough of your new Apple Watch so you know exactly how to get the most out of your watch. I hope you found those useful as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.